Hey, this is Joe. This is Silent Joe Talks. And it's... Uh... What is it? Like May 20th, I think? Yeah, May 20th, 2023. Uh, yeah. Chilling at the park again. Um... Yeah, just chilling. It's pretty hot out. It's about, it's about to get that time of the year. Where it's extremely hot. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's like 90-something degrees out, but, uh, luckily I'm chilling in the shade, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, I got lazy, didn't do an episode last week. Just no particular reason, just didn't really feel like doing it. But, uh... But, uh, yeah, I had a, uh, Mother's Day was this past week. Had a fun time. You know, me and my brother and my sister, we took my mom out. Uh, we didn't go on Mother's Day because we figured that everybody would be out on Mother's Day and the rest and everywhere would be all packed. So we went the next day. We went on Monday and we went to some Mexican restaurant can't really think of a name right now. It's like El El Camino Royale, or it was something like that. I don't know. I might have to look it up. But uh, yeah, and it was pretty good. Uh, I don't remember what everyone else got, but I got had some chorizo tacos, cha- tacos chorizo, chorizo chorizo. I don't know. Uh, I think it's chorizo. But, uh, yeah, they were pretty good. And it was kind of cool how how they had the... It was like three tacos, but the, the, the tortillas were, like, colored. Like, it was, like, red tortilla, green tortilla, and a white tortilla. Kind of like the Mexican colors. And that was pretty cool. Um, and that was good. Um, they had one, uh, uh menu item on there that I thought about getting but I decided not to get it. It was like I don't remember what it was called but it was like it was like I think it was tacos, like chorizo tacos but with um fried octopus or something like that. Something crazy like that, like octopus legs. And I thought about getting it. Um just because I don't think I've ever had octopus before. Um, or I think I did when I was little, because when I was little, um, my uncle would have these, uh, he would do these things every Halloween, where we would basically play Fear Factor, and he would get all this crazy stuff for us to eat, and, you know, stuff like that, and I think one of them was octopus, and I remember eating one and thinking it was actually pretty good. Like it tasted like tuna, kind of. It's kind of messed up though, cause I remember him telling me he would give me five bucks if I ate it, and I ate it, and he never gave me the five bucks. So it's kind of messed up. But anyway, I I was probably like six or seven, I want to say. But uh, yeah, I haven't had octopus since, and. To be honest, I don't even know if it if it was even good or as good as I remember it. But uh, but then I decided not to get it. So whatever. Um. Yeah, had a great Mother's Day. She she had lots of fun. Uh, and as a gift for her, I. I decided, um, cause she was behind on, she's behind on some bills and I, and I figured I'd have, I have money, I could probably pay off her, her debt on one of the bills. Cause she, she was behind on the power bill, I think. She was behind a couple months and I told her I would pay for it, you know, as my gift for Mother's Day. And that's what I did. I felt pretty good doing that. Um, yeah, 
I don't know, ever since getting this job and actually having money in my account, um, not that I didn't have money before, but I guess because, you know, working at Goodwill, this current job I have, I guess because it's a steady income, you know, getting paycheck every week, it actually feels better than when I was, um, you know, doing my video stuff, which, don't get it twisted, doing, doing that is definitely better than working at Goodwill, you know, traveling, going to different countries, you know, ten times better, but it was just the fact that, you know, getting paid, um, you know, in chunks instead of it being like a steady thing, it's kind of challenging. And I honestly think it made my uh, parents worry about me, like wondering if I'll, you know, be able to have my share of the rent and all that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, oh, I was saying, uh, now that I have, you know, like a steady income, like I actually like paying bills now, which is kind of weird to say. Like, it feels good to, you know, when it comes to, like, the day, build day. Like, it feels good to actually have the money to pay it and stuff. And, you know, no. it's probably just a me thing. I, I doubt most people feel the same way. But, uh, um, yeah, so... That was kind of like the big thing that happened this week. Um, I finished Fallout 4, uh, finally. And now I'm, I moved on. The, now I'm playing Fallout 3. And I'm already like halfway done. I only, I've only done like two streams of it. And I'm already like at the Citadel. Which I think, if I remember right, is like the halfway point for that game. Um, yeah, I'll probably, you know, honestly, I'll probably finish it, like, in, a, like, another stream or two. Like, it'll probably be a short series. It probably also has to do with the fact that, you know, I did the same thing that I did on Fallout 4. On Fallout, on Fallout 4, I just kind of had my stats. I just put my charisma and luck all the way up to 10. And which made all the speech options like basically perfect and moves on you know it's basically perfect uh, and then having the uh, difficulty on very easy just made combat a breeze so that's what I did on this one you know charisma and luck all the way up to 10 and then difficulty very easy, just making a smooth breeze. Which I guess people would argue that's that's no fun because there's no challenge or whatever. But you know, this isn't my first playthrough. I've played Fallout 3 like a bazillion times, so I don't really mind just coasting through it because I've played the game on very hard before. You know. And I've even given myself like little challenges. I've played so many times, like I'll try like a pistol only run or you know or melee and un melee and fists only type of thing. I've done it all. So it doesn't really matter to me. And also I'm kind of at a point now where I don't really care anymore. Like I just I just play all the games on easy difficulty, you know, because I just like to have a good time. Or at least to me, that's a good time. I don't know. Most people, you know, play on normal. They have some sort of challenge, but I don't really care. Because I did have a phase in my life where I would play games on the hardest difficulty, give myself the most challenges, you know. But, uh, 
you know, at this point, I don't really care. You know, I don't want to have to, like, play a game angry and upset, like if it's a Dark Souls game or something, you know, with Dark Souls being the exception to that, because, you know, that's the whole point of that game, is for it to be super difficult. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Hold on. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It's also that time of year that my allergies are kicking in. Oh, fuck. Um. Well, I yeah. Uh, so I'm constantly sneezing all the time. Um. Yeah, that's about all I got for this week. Um. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys next week, and I'm out. Hey, this is Joe, and this is Silent Joe Talks, and it's... Oh shit. Uh my phone. It is May twenty fifth, two thousand twenty one. And uh yeah, just chilling in the park. Um got back from Mexico about a couple weeks ago. Um I'm not really sure why I didn't do one last week. But this week I'm actually doing a kind of a it's actually kind of late for me to do this post. I usually do these on Mondays, and it's Tuesday. And I'll probably upload it today, even, just so that I can keep it, keep my videos on schedule. Because I usually post these on Tuesdays when I do do these. Um, but yeah, got back from Mexico. Did. And did the whole Man of Festival stuff. It's really fun. Got to swim in cenotes and, you know, listen to people speak about their experience, life experiences and stuff. Learned a lot of, I don't know, learned a lot of life lessons, I guess. It's actually pretty cool. Um, met some new people. It was really fun. Got to go to the beach. I think at one point we went to a rooftop pool. Hung out there. The same pool that I went to the first time I went to Mexico last year. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm actually going back to Mexico in a couple of weeks. For the summer, uh, I'm not sure how long I'll stay because I only bought a one way ticket because it was cheaper. It's cheaper that way, so who knows? Maybe I'll stay a couple weeks, maybe I'll stay a whole month. All I know is that I am coming back at the most, I'll be back like by the end of. July and August because August 1st is a, is a big day for me. It'll be a, a year. On August 1st, it'll be a year that my dad passed and my family's planning something big and we're going to Oceanside, California. You know, spend time with family. Probably have a big, huge barbecue or something like that. That seems to be our usual thing we do. Not that that's a bad thing. That's actually a pretty fun and awesome thing. You know. My dad would have loved it. You know. Probably cook some chicken and carne asada just for him. Or something. Um, but yeah. Do that. And then. Who knows after that. Maybe more Mexico. 
or travel somewhere else. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, in the meantime, though, I have, I am having a bit of money problems, so I decided that uh, I'm gonna start doing Uber Eats, just like my mom. But except, but because I don't drive or own a car or anything like that, I decided to get a bike, and I've, and I've been riding a bike every day, just getting used to it. Because I haven't ridden a bike since uh, last year when I was in Mexico. Me and IJ rode a bike for like, I don't remember how far, but it seemed like forever. And I was very tired. Drank, drank like three or four gallons of water because I was so exhausted and thirsty. But yeah, yeah, I decided I'm gonna decide to get a bike and then when I'm ready, start delivering. Start delivering food on it. You know, try to make some, try to make some money on the side so I could actually afford to do all this traveling that I've been doing this year. But uh, yeah, um, I've been doing that. I've also, I've also been reading more books again. And, uh, yeah. I started reading more books. Got this one book with me right now. This is uh, Action Bronson's new book. Fuck it, I'll start tomorrow. I've uh, only read like the first couple pages so far, but but I kind of like it. Been reading those. That's kind of what I've been kind of doing every day, along with riding my bike. I just ride my bike around the park a couple times until I get tired and then I'll rest. You know, sit on the park bench for a little bit, read my book. And then I can get back to riding. And that's been kind of like my morning routine, sort of. Um, but yeah. I'm not really sure when I'll start delivering though. I want to do it as soon as possible, but I don't want to start and then realize after one delivery that, you know, it's all too much for me. So, we'll see. I still gotta get like a couple things for my bike though. Like I gotta get, like some sort of like water bottle holder for it because the bike that I got didn't really come with anything so I gotta get some you know accessory stuff gotta get a water bottle holder I did buy a phone holder to hold my phone you know because I can, you know I could barely ride a bike as it is so I definitely can't ride a bike with one hand and I probably shouldn't be you know trying to ride a bike one-handed, also my phone in my hand, trying to read directions and stuff. So I got a phone holder for that. And then, and then I figured I'd probably need like some sort of like, you know, backpack thing, you know, to actually hold people's food in. And I guess Uber Eats have their own like little like like insulated backpack that you can buy from them, but it's pretty expensive. So I figured I would just use one of my mom's uh, Grubhub ones that she has. I don't, 
because, you know, my mom drives, so she doesn't really need the backpack. So I'll just use those, use that, <laughs> maybe cover the, the Grubhub logo with duct tape so that people don't get confused. I think I'm with Grubhub when I'm not, I'm with Uber Eats. But yeah, gotta get that. And then, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll also need like a, some sort of like bell or something, you know, some sort of like thing I can like honk or, you know, ring so that people know I'm coming. Cause I guess I could just yell, but I don't want to do that. It's not my thing. Um, but yeah, just gonna keep riding my bike. Hopefully deli start delivering within the next couple days so I can start making some sort of money. I probably won't make a lot of money since since I'm on a since I'm on a bike I'll probably that'll probably mean I'll take the the like the shorter route, the shorter trips. They're only like a couple miles. And just being with my mom doing Uber Eats, I know that the short trips usually mean that they're only gonna pay like two or three dollars. Which isn't a lot. But I'm sure if I do enough of them, I can... I'll probably make a pretty penny. And then there's also tips, so who knows. Maybe I'll get lucky and someone will tip me big. But yeah. That's kind of my... It's been going on. The past couple weeks. Um, yeah, hopefully next week. Oh... I'll have already started delivering and I'll talk about that. And yeah, that's it. Um, talk to you guys next week. And uh, yeah, I'm out.